Hi, I'm Jan Stoneman. I recently have been getting a lot of questions about AWS certifications ever since I posted that I got 15 certifications in 2019, including finishing all the 11 AWS certifications. So I thought I'd try to just post a video and answer them all in one go. Uh, it's my first time doing a video like this, so um, excuse the audio and um, and sound and all those um, issues. I figured better just get the questions answered than go for perfection. Um, so I'm currently a solutions architect at uh, Smartronics, but these are my personal thoughts and opinions here. And um, so the first question I thought I'd answer is, uh, how do I find the time? Um, so uh, one thing I like to do is I have the Linux Academy app, and they did not pay me to say that. Um, I use it uh, to listen to the lectures while I'm walking, driving, um, while I'm you know, showering, brushing teeth. I have a shower speaker. Um, and uh, all those kinds of things. And, um, and then once I've gone through all of the lectures, I'll listen to the specific lectures uh, that are more problematic for me like um, maybe services that I haven't used so much, um, like Kinesis uh, Firehose or something like that. And then um, I'll also, um, sometimes if I'll get bored of one voice, I'll switch to uh, a different source, such as YouTube reInvent Talks or the AWS Podcast or uh, the A-Cloud Guru app or the uh, Udemy app. Um, and then another thing um, I think that's really helped me is a spreadsheet to keep track of my study time because that way I can um, do an average at the end of the week to see, oh, this is how much I studied. And I think that seems to motivate me. Like, oh, this week I haven't done so much. Let me try to do better next week, uh, something like that. And then um, also I do uh, start work pretty early because I'm working East Coast time while in Oregon. So I finish um, earlier in the afternoon and then I can study after work. Um, before that, when I was working in Pacific time, I would get to work a couple hours early and study that way. Um, and then I'll try to look at the camera. Um, and then the other thing is I um, will do flashcards in the elevator, especially using the flashcards that are created by the instructors on the Linux Academy app. So when I'm in the elevator or in line, I'll just do one or two flashcards. Um, and then, honestly, I have not been doing any other hobbies uh, this year besides like spending time with friends and family. Uh, so that probably really helped me get time to do this. And um, I did also uh, spend time on holidays and weekends and things like that uh, when I wasn't um, with, with family. Um, and then um, some people were also wondering, like, do I lose sleep? Um, I, I wouldn't say so much. Um, uh, on some of the exams, I did stay up later, maybe only five five nights in, in the year. Um, but that was because I was trying to fit it all into 2019. I had that goal for myself. Um, I probably wouldn't even had to have those five nights if I um, spread it out until March of the next year or something. Um, but I'd say I, it was really worth um, any lack of sleep uh, waking up earlier because um, it enabled me to uh, go from being a front-end developer to full-stack developer to cloud developer to solution architect probably only within a year or so. I just kept bumping up because I was adding skills so fast. Um, so it really felt worth all the time sacrifice. And then um, another question I got was, um, like, how do I get experience with AWS services enough to pass the certifications um, if it's not a service being used at my job. And um, for that, a few things helped. Um, one was 
creating a CloudFormation stack and launching a service that way and writing it all out myself, not just pasting it, um, because uh, that way it just seeped in a bit more what all the knobs and dials of services are and probably got me thinking like, oh, why, why are there those knobs, um, those settings? And then another thing that really helped was writing articles on Medium. Uh, some of them were posted on the, the serverless guru uh, Medium account and some of them on, on my personal one. Um, but for example, I've never forgotten the difference between DynamoDB local secondary indexes and global secondary indexes since making an analogy about how to remember that. It was like, uh, local secondary indexes are like a local story. <laughs> I had a whole analogy and that made it stick because I came up with it and I wrote about it. Um, and then finally, is a, a really easy way that um, I, I know a lot of people do is just click around in the console in the personal account, launch things and tear them down. That's really helped me um, make the services feel more real. And then um, uh, most of, a lot of the questions have been about the solutions architect professional, like um, how many times did it take me to pass? So I've, I passed all of the exams on my first try except for three of them. And one of those was the solutions architect professional. That took me two tries. Um, and um, I studied an extra like 40 hours or so between my first try and my second try. Um, so that was definitely a challenging one. And that goes to the next question. What are the hardest AWS exams? And no doubt about it, it's the solutions architect, architect professional that was the hardest. And um, after that, I would say it was the uh, developer associate exam, um, the 2018 edition. I heard previously it um, was the easiest one uh, before they came out with the um, the what's it called, the cloud professional or the, the, the first uh, certification. Um, but that developer associate was the only one it took me three tries to pass and I studied a lot between those. Um, so one thing that really helped me was um, using the order of exams recommended by the A Cloud Guru um, course on how to take AWS exams. I, I believe there's a course like that. And they recommended to take it in this order. Uh, first, the cloud practitioner, that's the one. Uh, then solutions architect associate, uh, sysops, developer associate, solutions architect professional, um, DevOps professional, and then um, the specialty ones, security, big data, um, Alexa, uh, machine learning. I might have missed one, but um, that's about the Did gist you of. Ask me about machine learning. Would you like to know more about that? No, thank you. Okay. So she heard about the certification named after her. Um, yeah, so taking it in that order really helped. Okay, well, I'll try to keep this under 10 minutes and I'll wrap it up now. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to post them below and maybe I'll make another video. Okay, thanks. Hope this helped.